Caravaggio painted this canvas, emblematic of his youth period, at the beginning of his stay in Rome. It was commissioned by his patron, Cardinal Dal Monte, as a gift for Ferdinando I of the Medici family. He paid a lot of attention to the details of leaves and fruits, and at the same time introduced an atmosphere of ambiguous sensuality and raw realism. Bacchus has his heavy eyelids, reddened cheeks, full lips, and even dirty nails, and is probably already drunk because he offers the cup of wine with unsteady hand, as shown by the position of the fingers and by the vibrations of the glass. The god of wine is represented with his head crowned by a branch of vine leaves and branches of grapes that blend his brown air. On a less dark than other backgrounds by the same artist, Bacchus has a full and regular face. His body is invested with clear and grazing light, highlighting the naturalism. However, his almost irreverent and extremely far from the classic model. This fidelity to reality leads Caravaggio to be desecrating also in the representation of the still life in the foreground, showing us a worm-eaten apple, a bruised pear and a half-rotten peach, while the autumn fruits, fig, grapes and pomegranate are perfectly ripe. There are few fresh leaves, while the many dry and withered evoke corrupting powering of time, relating with the memento mori of the black ribbon. Perhaps the model is the colleague Mario Moniti, with whom Caravaggio lived together and frequented taverns, or we can suppose a self-portrait in the mirror that would explain the unusual gesture of holding up the wine cup with the left while the master was right-handed. Caravaggio, Bacchus, 1595-1596.